Welcome back to Woody Shrooms. I am Woody. Today I'm going to be taking apart and changing the filter in my flow hood that I made, designed. I do not use a HEPA filter, and you will see why. Uh, HEPA filters do work fantastic for all your lab work and culture work. HEPA filters start at 300 bucks and go to $800. Mine is a Merv MERV is in Victor 14. This filter only costs a hundred dollars. I've used this filter for two years. I'm changing it out. This filter has not given me any issues. I have not had any contamination in over 300 agar dishes I've done, along with a lot of inoculation with no contamination. The filter lifts out. Um, installing the new filter is the same. You slide it down into the grooves and secure it. That's the top modification I've made for my motor. And the new filter just slides right in. The white stuff here in the picture is MacTac I bought at the dollar store for a dollar. You get six feet. I coated the inside of the flow side that I do the work on. That way I can wipe it down with bleach and the wood doesn't absorb spores or any kind of contamination. The side brackets screw right into the filter to hold it in place. And basically I made it the dimensions of the filter. I used to have the motor on the back side and now I'm mounting it on the top. That's the hole where the motor used to be. Or the air blows down into the filter housing. I put this flexible ducting and I screwed it down to the bottom. The air will flow straight down into the filter, as shown here. Down and up into the filter. That's the motor mounted on top. That's the plugged hole from the old position. Side brackets. Metal tape. Cover all the cracks with this tin tape that's used for ducting. And it works quite well. And that's basically my design. To go through this and review, this is a two and a half foot box. That's the lid that covers this side of the filter where I do all my work, the flow work. The filter's five inches thick. MER 14 on this side is where the air blows into the filter. There's a slot down the side that you slide the filter into. It's basically a box with a slot. When both lids are on, I have this area where I can do all my flow work with no side air. I have side deflection sides up and the top to protect me from any contamination. I have LED light strip on the top as well, which if you change the colors, you can see different things happening with your mycelium growth. Thank you again for joining me for another one in my videos. I am Woody from Woody Shrooms. Take care, everybody. <laughs>